as far as Kevin Smith, I, I'm sure he would love to be in that uh, category of, of he assumes his fans want a certain type of film. But as far as Woody Allen's fans are concerned, I mean, aren't they trying to petition him not to make any more films? Or wasn't that going on in England? They were begging him not to make another film because his films are really starting to suck. And Well, the, mo- the movie he just – you see, that's the thing. I'm not a blanket Woody Allen fan because his as of late, a lot of his movies have not been that good. Match Point was the yeah, last Match thing Point was done. like, yeah, it was But decent, he just yeah. – that, that movie uh, – what, no, what, Christina, the, Christina, somebody, Barcelona? Christina Barcelona. Yeah, Cri- yeah we just call yeah. her Christina. There's another chick in there. Didn't, mm-hmm. didn't you see that? Uh, no. Okay, that's actually a badass movie, man. I love that movie. Is this yeah. – when did this that's come out? That's the most re- – that came out like a few months ago. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I guess been? that movie had no kind of publicity because no, it was a I small didn't hear release. A from it it okay. was actually it was a small release, but it's actually pretty good. Wow. Because I mean, they've come to realize that only a certain amount of people are going to go see Woody Allen movies, and they pretty much know when they're coming out. And look, mm-hmm. I'm kind of creeped out by Woody Allen still. I mean, I, I would still. Oh, dear God. <laughs> oh, come no, on. Right. You, how do you ever get over that? That's all one right, of those right. things where it's like, how do you ever forgive? It, it's kind of like all these people who refuse to forgive uh, Roman Polanski, Roman Polanski yeah. for drugging and raping that 14 year old girl. He raised this girl from three years old and then married her. Yeah, it's it's weird, but I mean, it's look. I try to look at the work and I separate it, but in the back of my mind, I'm still thinking, damn, was he like uh, dreaming about little kids when he made this sign? Yeah, I don't know, you he's, know. Dreaming, he's dreaming about his kids. Come on, <laughs> put it together, Corey. <laughs> but so. anyways, that, but like I said, I I do like Kevin Smith. Nothing personal against him. I I wish that Kevin Smith that I see talking would actually come out in some of the movies instead of like the same movie. But that's just me. Uh, but for all his fans that love him, I have nothing against that. I'm not criticizing you guys. So, Wait, so. did you not like that movie, the, the, the most recent one? With Zach and I, yeah, I, I I liked it okay. I didn't love it at all. I I, I gave it a rental. I thought because some of it was really funny. Yeah. Actually, those are some things that made me laugh. But for the most part, I'm like, wow, another Star Wars reference. Great man. Uh, how, Still, many, how, do you, oh, how, how many yeah. times you got to do this? And we've all heard Star Wars references from everybody else. Oh, mm-hmm. same kind of dirty humor I've heard right. over and over again too from you. Did you like it better than Clerks too? Man, Clerks 2, I like taking a shit better than Clerks 2. I mean, I like... Well, uh, who doesn't you know, like taking a shit? No, well, exactly. You know, <laughs> come on. That's, I like, that's a good that's, review, That's Corey. the best Thank part you. of some people's day. I like constipation better than, better than Clerks 2. No, I, I wasn't a big Clerks fan too, of... I love Clerks 2, man. Clerks 2 is awesome. I wasn't a big fan awesome. at all. I, I, in fact, I thought it was yeah, pointless. You got, yeah, you definitely have people who either love it or hate it. I'm kind of in the middle. Uh, there's parts of it I liked and parts of it I, I could... I, I love the, the, I care, the Hobbit conversation in that... The whole thing that about Lord was, of the Rings. Uh, that was pretty damn funny. Yeah. yeah no, I, that, that made me laugh to no end. So anyway. But, so you said we've got email. I do have some email. Now, it's probably, it's probably not the best email here, but it does answer a question that I figured you could answer here. Uh, because it's something I've often been wondering. I think it, I think it kind of changes from time to time. I'm already answering the question without even, uh, <laughs> without even reading it. Now, my page is doing something crazy here where whenever I try to go to read my email, it takes me back to another page. Uh, but I got the, mem- the email memorized. I need to go back to it. Uh, it's from Deadpool. Deadpool wants to know, when does summer blockbuster season start? It said it, it's been starting earlier and earlier every year. It's summer blockbuster season starts the beginning of May now. It, it hasn't gotten earlier and earlier in the last five, six so years. So it's not April no, it can't be April. The thing is, is it starts in May because that's when uh, kids start getting out of school in different places. That's when college kids have let out. Um, and that's when uh, it, it, it can't be in April. There's The people have tried to start it up in April and in March, and it just never gets the kind of money. Uh, and really, summer starts when the first big, huge blockbuster makes its money. And that's what he said. He says, uh, <clears throat> he says some people say April. Others say March. No, hell no, it's not March. Come on. Uh, others, June. He says, I think it's the beginning of May, but you guys know much more than me. And I was going to say you were right. It's the beginning of May, but... Yeah, no, it's it's the beginning of May. It's yeah. uh, 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 several years ago. They they you know they kept pushing it earlier and earlier. And Iron Man proved that you put out a great summer film at the beginning of May, you will make serious bank. Yeah, and that's true. I mean, and and I wouldn't be surprised if they tried to do that near the tail end of April. Now, at some point, like trying to get a jump on something because they like did every that year. this year and it didn't work. What, what did they do? It with? I can't even remember what the films were, but they they were trying to like throw out summer style films in a- in April and they just never took. 
Yeah, I mean, it, you got to get it when the kids are out and uh, everybody's like hyped up. I mean, because May, just people in the back of people's minds, something just switches. May, shit, I'm crazy now. It's summertime, bring it on. I'm ready to go swimming. I'm Starts ready to just, getting see, hot. Look. Yeah, shit. I mean, April just it still says springtime. And now so. we've got we're in the weird season. I was I was at Target the other day. And I'm buying Halloween candy because I was all excited because, you know, I just bought my house this year and this is my first year. Did you buy candy corn? I did, but not to give out to kids. I bought it for myself. No, See, you're a fan of candy corn. I like candy corn. I love Grandma's candy, candy corn. corn. I actually bought. Oh, I, I experimented. I bought caramel candy corn. They got caramel candy. They got corn? Can, caramel candy corn. So I bought some of that for myself, and then I bought tons of tons of candy for the kids. And so I got to sit out on my lawn and give out candy. It was really fun. But so I'm going there and I'm buying candy, and these motherfuckers are putting up. Christmas display. Oh yeah, Christmas and I look crap. over Where and I'm you? like, "Dude, Halloween's tomorrow. Can you give us? Can you uh, give us yeah. some time?" And he looks over. and goes, "We only got two more days before Christmas season. <laughs> you gotta get a jump on it." It's yeah. like, what? <laughs> it's like, what the yeah, he's fuck? So angry, he's throwing shit across the room. <laughs> Goddamn Christmas decorations. Like, <laughs> damn. No, man, they got Christmas decorations and shit. You need. I'll go to Home Depot. They got yeah. fucking Santa Claus at the at the greeting door. I'm like, yeah. God damn. I'm, it, it's they're like trying to Halloween confuse yet. confuse us with our seasons. I guess. I, I mean, I don't we, get yeah, it. I guess so. <laughs> Turkeys are sitting around saying, Shh, "Yeah, I hope you forget about me." But <laughs> but man, yeah, I, I'm I'm the same with you, man. We don't get a break. I mean, they really want you to buy this shit as early as possible. I'll, I'll tell you what, though, I am primed for Thanksgiving. I went to Marie Callender's today, and they got turkeys all over the place. But you bought your, mm-hmm. your like your. Uh, Thanksgiving dinner early, <laughs> like it's in the no, no, no. I just no. It's <laughs> it's Sunday. I went out to Sunday brunch at Marie Calendar's, who they they have an awesome freaking brunch. And so I went and had brunch, and uh, and and so, I, but they've got all these turkey pictures and all over the place. They got the whole big display. <laughs> Buy your turkey dinner from us. And, <laughs> Corey already stocked up on his. I know. I got a, a hungry man. Yeah. <laughs> hungry, hungry hey, he man. got two <laughs> hungry men. I know. It's Thanksgiving. It's because his family doesn't love him. I know. I'm going to invite a homeless guy over to eat with me. <laughs> when he's going to look at me, what the fuck is this shit? Get a real dinner. I'm going home. Oh, what? One. You couldn't go to Marie Callender's, you cheap bastard? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going to the whippy and get a beer. But uh, you got a dollar. But no, I, 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 man, candy corn. Do you have any left over? Because that shit is like gold for me. I, I Can, do. It, you got to give me some. I've man. got a, I've got a bowl of candy corn and and caramels. Oh, my I'm God. actually shocked you guys like that crap. Man, candy because, corn uh, is, is I, I, I yeah that's a I don't commodity, get it. Man. What, what, it, does, what, it doesn't look like it, you should be putting that in your mouth. It's like something you feed your parrot. I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, it's funny because I read an article about uh, candy that kids just do not want anymore, and candy corn was on the top of that list. Yeah, no, candy <laughs> well, corn. Well, good. More for me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's one of those weird things. It's uh, I was talking to a friend about it the other day, that candy like goes in weird cycles, and their candy is really popular for a while, and then it becomes dramatically unpopular. It's like it's like old women who love hard candies. It's like, exactly. you want a hard candy? Yeah. Hard candies aren't cool, though. No, we don't it, like hard candy. Mm. But like me and Corey, we love the candy corn. Man, and the kids today man. are like, don't give me that cheap-ass it's candy corn. Get this shit out of like my, my face. Grandma I want a that's Snickers. That shit my grandma always tried to shove down my face. Yeah, exactly. Now, I will tell I you. Pelt her over the head with Candy it. corn, it worries me because it disappears. Like a few mm. days after Halloween, it is gone. Yeah. And, it make, and the only candy corn you can get is the candy corn that's left over from people like you, Carlisle. And then I'm mm. thinking, the candy corn that we're eating this year, is that the same shit that was left over from yes. last year? Yes, yes. <laughs> and, and and I understand what you're saying about kids not liking it because when I was a kid, mm-hmm. I would put it in my mouth. Now when you put candy corn in your mouth at first, it has no real flavor, mm-hmm. and you spit on it. What the fuck is? But one day I finally bit into it, and I was like, "That's candy corn. That's why it's yeah. here." No, I this love this. Is candy corn? This is For all can- these years. <laughs> this is candy corn. <laughs> Kick. I know. Are you not entertained? <laughs> yes, I am. Shit, I, I love actually, this. I actually, start genre film. I know. I know. You were talking about me. Uh, yeah, no. Meet the Spartans. You talking about no, 300. I was not talking about like, me. The Spartans. Shut the fuck I'm up. I'm talking 300. about what you call it? Uh, uh, the, the the really Scott Gladiator. Movie. Gladiator. Yeah. Gladiator. Oh, what happened but, to uh, Gladiator Two? What? Is that still in production? It, no, it never. <laughs> they they kicked it around and they everybody kept rolling their eyes and going, no, they can't do it. It's funny because I had a uh, this guy I knew and he kept on joking about Gladiator Two. He's like Gladiator Two, greatest movie ever. I can't wait for it to come out summer twenty ten. And uh, and then I read that they were actually going to make it, and I was like, oh, f- they were they what were the lo- fuck? they were looking <laughs> at it, and I, as far as I've heard, it's not happening. What they are doing is three hundred and one. I don't know what they're going to actually what? call it. <laughs> is that but, the uh, Frank Miller prequel or no? It's a sequel. It's the sequel. It's about the battle uh, that takes place a year later. Yeah. 
Um, and I read they were going to have try to have two battles going on in there. They uh, might. I don't. I. I look. You are looking at a man who could not give a shit. Yeah. It's. I didn't really enjoy the first one. It was a fun art school project, but it was it was overrated. Oh really? I yeah. loved it. I lo- actually. I, I love it. I loved it. But uh, yeah, I heard Frank Miller's writing it right now because it's. When he's done with that book, they're supposed to. I hope there are no women in it. (laughs) That Frank Miller doesn't like the ladies. Honestly, that doesn't bother me. I mean, hey, the more skimpy outfits they can wear, the better. But uh, I don't know. I thought 300 was actually, they they toned it down as far as the uh, women, uh, the the women uh, being Mm -hmm. whores. So, aspect of it. <laughs> uh, except, <laughs> no, in fact, the thing is, is in Frank Miller's book, the the wife appears in one frame of the comic yeah. book and says, yeah. "Come back with your shielder on it." And then the movie, it's like, here's a twenty minute rape story <laughs> for those women who would like something less masculine. And, and all the book, guys who book, like rape. That book is so damn short, though. I was like, I was actually when I heard they were working on that project, I was actually shocked. That's why they filmed there. everything in slow motion. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that would make. It's sense. like, why is it that would like, make eh, sense. a minute to get over this? <laughs> on the horse because it's a short novel shut up uh so I, while you guys were talking i found a, a good email actually it's a good segue from what we're talking about here 300 was a graphic novel that was made into a movie now the same guy Zack snyder who made that is making watchman right and, uh, and watchman, really watchman is a very big wow novel. i hadn't i haven't heard anything about that yeah, well, what's, uh, what are you I'm talking, talking about this happened. not talking to you talking to people out there who don't know all right so this uh, we have an email here from Tom W. Now you've made me hungry for candy corn. I know, man. I know. Sitting here, sit here like I can't wait to get home and get Kids, candy corn. Look, get, give candy corn a chance. I know you probably don't like it at first, but no, all we shit. are saying give candy corn give a candy chance. Candy corn a chance. Okay. You take that candy corn and stick it up your pump. Oh, come on, come <laughs> on now, stop it. All right, so Tom W. has this to say. He says, "I am excited about the Watchmen movie that is coming out, but Loser. I think they will get rid of." Some of the plot to make a movie out of it. And I think it could be, it, well, he says, I think it could ruin the film because every character has their own arc. And to me, that is what makes the graphic novel what it is. And it cannot be brought into a movie. What would your opinions be? Uh, you no, know, when they say that, when Zack Snyder says, I'm doing this sort of as a page to page translation of the book, that is not true. And I don't know, well, first of all, I don't know if he said that. He said that he's using the book as a Bible. But that book is so dense. I mean, they have articles in a book that can't be put into a movie. No, but that's the stuff that's – it's so easy to cut stuff out of that yeah. – uh, out of the book. It's just like this is – it's so easy to go snip. The pirate story's gone. Exactly. Snip. Well, she's making a this DVD of the pirate story. That's going to be a separate DVD. Yeah, in the movie – It's supposed to come out the same time as the movie does. Yeah, in the movie there's uh, – they, they make metaphors with different article stories and there's a pirate story that they're talking about through the whole thing that they keep referencing back and forth that cannot be in the movie but they can make a DVD out of it like, they, like he said he's doing. Yeah. What – I heard that they're doing with this movie is that they're taking the ending. Now, I don't know if this is true, if they're still doing it, but they're taking the ending and they're changing it, changing it around. I won't say what, how it ends in the book. I won't say how it ends in the movie, but they said it's way too crazy in the book and they're making it more realistic in it's the movie. It's not that it's way too crazy in the book. It's that that shares too much. It was ripped off too heavily by heroes. And as a result... Now they're like, well, people are going to watch this and think we ripped it off from the heroes. Well, it wasn't ripped off from heroes. Heroes probably ripped off. No, that's what I'm saying yeah. is that heroes ripped off the Watchmen. The yeah. Watchmen's been around for like 25 years as a book. Yeah. Um, and so it ripped off the Watchmen. And so they're afraid that when they put out this movie, the people are going to be disappointed because it has the same ending as heroes uh, to a certain degree. Um, well, with this, they say it common. That- so. But the problem is, is that the ending is the whole fucking point of the book. Yeah. You know, the whole book works towards the ending. And when you go back and reread it or look at all the events that happen in the book, you're like, oh, shit. Exactly. It makes so much sense. I am so terrified of this now. I was I, – I got – say I, I've been – I have been a harbinger of doom on this for like two years, and people have been giving me a hard time. Like, come on, lay off. He might do it right. And I'm like, I'm just worried. And everyone's like, oh, no, 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 no. He's sticking to the book. He's sticking to the book. He's sticking to the book. And I finally allowed myself to get excited. I looked at that trailer and said, that's the comic book. Holy crap, this is awesome. And then somebody's like, oh, you, you know, they, I was talking to Rick Claw, and Rick Claw's like, well, you know, they changed the ending, right? I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. Now, they said that they could still go back and probably redo the ending to make it more authentic to the book uh even if any of this is true because it was still rumored i don't know how much of this well is they true did say they're gonna cut out like an hour the studio is making them cut out uh a good portion of the film but it's there i guess they're gonna do a lord of the rings where there's gonna be an extended 
cut of the film. Oh, really? Uh, when it hits DVD, yeah, because they're, they're, they basically the studio is like, there's no way we're going to release I, a, a huge epic, yeah, a three three hour yeah. plus film. Yeah, a- anybody who's seen the, the who has read the book, you're not going to be you're not going to it's not going to be ruined if you inquire about what they do to the ending of the movie uh so but it will make you worry because you're going to be confused it's going to be like the whole point of the ending of that book was to achieve this and how they're going to do it now and uh i I, i'll look i'll give it a chance i'm still excited at least visual from a visual standpoint i'm like this looks great it'll just i'm still pumped about it yeah i mean i I, every the new trailer i saw was i thought was incredible but i'm like you i'm not i'm not allowing myself to be bought into it completely so yeah yeah. well you can't yeah i mean (laughs) when when have you ever seen a trailer where you're like all right that's the greatest movie of all time i've seen man there's been lots of movies like that and i finally just said cory how old are you disappointed too many times (laughs) fuck you you son of a bitch (laughs) but yeah so that's that man uh anything else you want to talk about here you mean not particularly uh i mean the one thing that i've been turning everybody on to this week if you have not seen the trailer for grand torino speaking of trailers that look awesome that new trailer for Clint Eastwood's new film, Gran Torino, that movie looks badass. Have you downloaded this yet? No. Co-host? What is oh, this about? This is about an old dude that's kind of like a cross between Dirty Harry and uh, Archie Bunker, who has a group of Chinese people move in next door, and at first he doesn't like them, and then a Chinese gang is kind of whooping the shit out of him, and he comes out and puts down the Clint Eastwood beat down on him, and then ends up becoming like this neighborhood hero that he's trying not to be. It's like a Death Wish movie? Yeah. Sort of oh. like that. Except- and it looks, the trailer is just so bad. At when, when Clint Eastwood is staring down the barrel of that rifle, and goes, get off my lawn. <laughs> It's, it's just so freaking cool. Except All it's right. like you could tell it's a movie because there's one scene where he doesn't have that gun. He goes and beats the shit out of some young Chinese guy. Mm-hmm. In reality, you know he'd probably get his ass beat by this kid. Yeah. <laughs> Unless he's Clint Eastwood. Unless he's Clint Eastwood, yeah. So Clint Eastwood thought he was Spike Lee and was beating the shit out of him. All right, so. well, I'm in. I'm going to check it out. Yeah, no, it's, it's a good trailer, man. I, I'm, I'm worried about where the movie could go, but I'm excited about it, too. It, it, it could be fun. Yeah, so. that trailer got me so pr- primed and hyped. It was the only trailer I've seen recently that just got me like, oh, I can't fucking wait. What's the release date on that? Uh, it's sometime in December. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, and he's happy about it, too. He's like, I get to beat up Chinese people. In this <laughs> that, so, oh, we're yeah. not Chinese. we Korean. Oh, it doesn't and, matter. <laughs> <laughs> and, and by the way, how awesome is Quantum of Solace? What's that? I oh, said, we, how oh, awesome oh, you is guys Quantum saw of Solace? That, right? yeah. yeah, we saw Quantum yeah. of Solace. We, we did the review like an hour ago, but it won't be up for about two weeks. So you, I just wanted we, to say, God damn, is that a good fucking Okay, we all, I, I don't know why he's like, it was that an awesome movie because he knows what <laughs> No, that was my, that was, I was like needling you. Uh, no, I, mean, I, I thought, nobody here thought it was bad. I actually thought it was fun and it was good. All right, you scared uh, he me thought it, it. No, he thought it was great. <laughs> I didn't think it was uh, as good as Casino Royale. As a matter but of fact, I thought they took a step back. As a group, we're split down the middle. The question is, is who do the other two side with? Does it go black and white or do we <laughs> uh, get all Oreo That's right. About yeah, it? you should it's, listen uh, to it. Is yeah. this, is this a, a race <laughs> issue here? Oh, yeah, no. no it's, 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 gonna, it's, it's an interesting review. Um, and there was a big throwdown in the middle of it. Oh, yeah. There was but, a fight? Man, let me tell you something. Me and Leon, we said, you know what? We're really getting tired of seeing a white James Bond. We really want to see a black James Bond. What? Co- co- <laughs> what? What the hell is wrong with you? And, and then, and then, you guys smoking and Cyrus, crack? Cyrus was Golly. arguing that no, he felt that what we needed was a pasty white overweight aging um, <laughs> bond and, uh, why not, and, it, why, and it turned into a big brawl. God, why not an Eskimo 007? It's, it's, I knew you were going to say Eskimo. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's, that's not what it was about. We were joking. <laughs> no, it was Cyrus and, uh, and Leon had a difference of opinion and it got a little heated. Wow. It was, I it was, it. It was, it was, it was odd because... I've been noticing and, those guys have been going at it lately. I don't know and, what the deal is. They love each other. Uh, that's and, what I figured. You that's know, what I was, and, trying to, I was <laughs> trying to put that together. Me and Corey were like the quiet ones. We're kind of sitting over the side going, dude, you guys you can wow. chill the fuck out. Him and I were looking at each other, and every now and then I try to spur it on because, yeah. like, Cyrus would argue with I'd be like, mm, yeah, <laughs> go on. And, so, but we, really, yeah, we looked at each other like, damn, what's going on over here? I, there, was, there was a moment where I'm like, nerd fight, round one. <laughs> and Cyrus just looks at me, he's like, you shut the fuck up and don't step in my lines. <laughs> oh my it's God. like, whoa, oh, this, is getting, this is getting serious wow. up in here. I loved it, man. I was sitting back and grinning. I mean, and for a moment, he's like, that's, oh, a, no. that's a moment where he was just kind of like, I ain't going to oh, say no. shit. I'm just going to sit <laughs> yeah, back I'm and like, so You know what? This is going <laughs> to, my name's Paul. This is sweet, y'all. I think you know something, man? I knew that was going to happen because... The, all right, first of all, Leon loves James Bond so much 
that, that was the one where he was actually going to defend that shit to the death. Mm-hmm. And when, and Cyrus and Leon get along so well that once Cyrus felt like he was attacked by Leon, he was going to oh, get mad man. and go back, you motherfucker. Yeah. It's gonna, is, is this like going to be the end of Leon? No, no, no. It, wasn't, it, was, it was one of those. They're going to go home and give each other reach around. Yeah, exactly. It'll be all right. I thought that's probably why the audio fucked up. They probably got no fight and screwed <laughs> yeah. up all their equipment. They're rolling around yeah, on the yeah, floor. Yeah, they crashed the table and shit. <laughs> yeah. They'll go home and feed each other candy corn naked. It'll be all right. Ah. <laughs> God, Another I love vote corn. against candy corn. <laughs> candy corn rocks. Okay, what, Another reason to hate candy corn. <laughs> you know what? Uh, I guess the only other thing to say is uh, if any of you lazy motherfuckers listening to this that, that haven't voted in early voting or don't have early voting, Tuesday motherfuckers, get out there. Oh, deep, by, by Either, all means. Whoever you vote for, uh, and I know we in this room disagree, <laughs> but the point is get out there and fucking vote. Yes. Yeah, no. We, do we disagree? Uh, I, I voted for Kodos. <laughs> that's, that's me. <laughs> yeah, and you've got the bumper sticker to prove it. Don't blame me. I voted for Kodos. <laughs> <laughs> he is running, right? I saw it on TV the other yeah, day. It's like a yeah, Halloween. Yes, he is. Yes. Okay. Please, I'm glad robots Good. can't vote. I, I hate to waste a vote. <laughs> so, <laughs> but no, uh, by all means, yes, uh, Carlisle is right. Please go out and vote. People should vote for all the different reasons. You should yes. vote because it's your it's your God given right to do that. You should mm-hmm. vote because people fought for you too, you, and that's all people. I'm and not just saying this is people. the but most important election in the history of mankind. Yeah, f- fuck that. No, the the point is you need to vote so that for the next four years you've got bragging rights on being able to bitch about the motherfucker that gets in office because whoever it's going to be is going to fuck this country up, and we want to be able to say, you know what. Either I voted for your ass or, you know what, I voted against you, but I can speak because at least I fucking stepped up. And if you vote, you're going to be a part of history, too. I mean, no matter who wins. And they give you a cute little sticker. Yeah, and I, I wore my I wore my on my forehead. They gave me a sticker, but it was written in Spanish. I, I didn't think I didn't think <laughs> I didn't get that. I didn't think robots could vote. He what could did you vote. guys have the right to vote? I wore a Halloween mask. I wore my uh, I wore my I wore my Richard Nixon mask. To he the, casted uh, his vote on the uh, Simpsons website, <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him a sticker virtually on <laughs> so, in an email. <laughs> Damn. But uh, also. Uh, something I told people I'd mention, and it's open to all you guys. I have a, a, a cousin that lives in London. I'm due to visit him very soon. And you people in London have decided to take it upon yourselves to make a party in London when I get there. And so <laughs> no, I, no, you, the, you people, first of all, you, it's, you it's fucking renegade again. <laughs> it, rene, okay, renegade kick. No, renegade and uh, somebody else. Uh, I don't know if he, who was it. Uh, well, I, I, it was about it was about three people who kicked this off. So I'm just saying, if you guys let me know when you want to do it, I will go when you want me to go. I was planning on going in January to see my cousin, but if you want me to go earlier, I will, I will go. So, hmm. and it sounds like a lot of people want to have. And when I say party, I'm not talking about like the one we did here in Texas. It'll be hmm. like sort of a, a, a real meet and greet kind of mixture, mi- mixer people hanging out kind of thing, except so you, without any of us. Well, like I said, I'm hmm. going to see my cousin. You guys are more than welcome to go. It's not like anybody's paying for my trip or anything like that. I'm I'll go if moment. we're going to Amsterdam. Oh, was th- you know what? You, you're making a joke, but I was thinking about making a trip there while I was there. Are you serious? Yeah, I was going to get on a train and go there. Mm. So, I, I hear they have excellent brownies. <laughs> really? I, I don't, they're I don't, famous I don't, for their brownies. Are you kidding me? People, everyone I talked to was like, dude, they have the best brownies in Amsterdam. Yeah. And their hash browns are really good, too. So. Their hash browns? Their hash mm. browns are good. So I said I'd mention Tempting. that. So, uh, yeah, Nick. Oh, uh, Nick Hodges was the one one of the main guys getting this together. So I guess know. maybe if Renegade's got all this spare money, maybe you should pay to fly the spill crew out to Ren- London Ren- for this party. <laughs> Renegade ain't going. <laughs> he's not. No, he's just well, he's just he's just organizing. He just loves to organize. Renegade oh is like a God. homeroom teacher or something. He just loves to organize. What's wrong so, with that guy? <laughs> just loves to do shit like that. So anyway, you guys let me know what the deal is, and we'll uh, organize it, and I'll go whenever you want me to go. So. That's that. Uh, as you said, go out and vote. Uh, go see Quantum of Solace and all that kind of shit. Tell us what you think. Blah, blah, blah. Good night, y'all. Good night, everybody. See ya. All right, let's, let's go do our shit. <laughs>